Let's go save the president. But first, there's supposed to be some dudes over here somewhere. I don't want the directional microphone. No. Like, I'm pretty sure a guy is supposed to come around that corner eventually. That's the uh, Nikita missiles. We don't have that yet. M9 ammo. That's fairly useful. Or maybe they don't appear for some reason. Quite yet. Some shafts. Oh, we're gonna do some housekeeping here real quickly. You see these gun turret can good gu gun cameras. Fuck you. And fuck you. Maybe the enemies just don't appear when you initially get on this floor. I forgot about that. Oh, we logged into the node. We got that going for us. Is there anything down here that we can pick up? Some more info ammo. We can uh, say hi to the president by doing this. Hello, Mr. President. I'm speaking to you in Morse code. Who's there? Knock it off. But he just gets mad and then he's like, oh, get out of here. So we gotta find the, 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 the Nikita missile launcher. And that should be down here in B1. Of the Shell 2 poor. The filtration chamber. Which, if memory serves me correct correctly, is flooded. And flooded real bad. As you can see. So, uh, I guess we're going to take a little swim swim. Here's a fun thing. Ah! Getting water poured on me. Hey, do you need to remember the basics of swimming? Well, I'm going to tell you again. In case you'd forgot from the very beginning of the plant chapter. B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing <laughs> the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. All right, well, be aware of that as we uh, take a little swim. I don't remember where everything's at here. That's like the only downside. All right, get my bearings. All right, let's go this way because there's a little room in here that has nothing in it. <laughs> well, that was a good use of our time. Instead, we're gonna swim on this way. Actually, we're gonna swim down here and regain our oxygen back. Turn around. Do another dive. Oh god, that's a bomb. Watch out for those things. They are very dangerous. We'll see if there's anything over in this little corner. Nope. We're gonna swim past that bomb again. We have the Nikita missile launcher. Now we can head back. You have the remote-controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Now I think this is when enemies will start to repopulate back into the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Maybe. I don't... I could be completely off base here. That wouldn't be the first time. 
So let's swim up, and voila, we are back to breathing, breathing normal, non-water air. Shake it off. Just like that Taylor Swift song. And leave footprints everywhere. I was thinking if I ran around, ran around enough, I could just, you know, get rid of all these foot. Damn it. Get rid of the, the water footprints, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh well, I don't think it's going to be a big deal anyways. Alright. Back we are. Doesn't look like there is anyone around still, so that's very convenient. Now, the, the video in the codex showed you going, like, a different route than this, but I've always used this route for some reason. And, I don't know, I feel like it's always been beneficial to me. So, this is the route we are going to use. Because you can specifically get right there. Out of the way, Mr. President. Quick and simple. Straight to the point. And that's it. Now we can go hang out with the president. He's gonna do some very interesting stuff to us. Grab all this ammo first. There's nothing over there. Nope, just kidding. Get ready for some cutscenes. And a lot of exposition here. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Let me what? grab your junk. What the... You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. 
the Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. 
By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Would you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? 